Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me today for this ballet inspired hip workout. Sorry in advance for the really strange angle. Without further ado, why don't we get started? Today's workout will consist of 40 seconds of difficult exercise and 10 seconds of a rest period. So take your feet in a second position. We're gonna be doing grand plies with a double pulse. Let's go down, exhale, double pulse, down and grand plie and stretch up. Exhale down as we pulse twice, inhale up. Exhale, double pulse down and up. Opening our hips, warming up our thighs, our quadriceps and our hamstrings. Let's keep going, 25 more seconds. Finishing in two and one. Take a quick 10 second breather, stretch if you need to, take your hands on your knees, put one shoulder forward and the other shoulder forward. We're gonna be staying in this grand plie position, make sure you're not sticking out your tush and you keep your core engaged. So staying in this grand plie position, we're just gonna lift one heel and then the other, alternating our heel lifts as we stay down, pulsing simultaneously, pulsing down and down and down and down, lifting up and down, up and down. Keep breathing, this one is killer for our thighs and you're gonna be sore after this. I know I surely was. Finishing in three, two, one, amazing. Take a quick 10 second rest period while we get ready for the next one, which is going to be a high plank on our hands and our feet on our mat. So get ready, get set and go. 40 seconds of a regular high plank. Keep your butt down, don't stick it up. Keep your hands underneath your shoulders and keep breathing. Finishing in three, two, one, amazing. Let's go standing up again. And now the same exercise we did previously in second position, we're going to be doing in first position. So keep your heels together, keep your glutes engaged. And we lift one heel, then the other, lift one heel, then the other. Feel free to add a bounce here as well if you'd like, or just stay stagnant in this position, simultaneously changing each heel. Finishing in three, two, one. Next one, we'll have a curtsy lunge and we're gonna do little pulses in a curtsy lunge for 20 seconds on one side and 20 seconds on the other side. So let's get started in three, two, one. Take a big step back, keep your knee over top of your toe, slightly turn out your front leg and keep your butt tucked under. Neutral pelvis, engaged core equals a happy and healthy lower back. Let's switch sides in five, four, Three, two, one, switch legs. Hey. Finishing in three, two, one. Whew. I know my legs were pretty exhausted by now, but we're halfway done. So for the next one, we're gonna do some little grand battements. So step behind and kick up. Step behind you and kick up. Feel free to do this forward if that's easier for you today, but I'm doing it sideways to activate my obliques as well. Feel free to take your hands above your head. Five more seconds on one side and then we'll switch to the second side. Go ahead and get started on the second side. Let's keep going.
Finishing in three, two, one. Amazing. Take a quick sip of water if you need one. And why don't we get started on our hands and our feet once again in a high plank. For this one, we're going to be doing two sets of mountain climbers with two plank jacks. Let's get started. Two mountain climbers and two plank jacks. Out and in, out and in. Again, two sets of mountain climbers on each leg and two plank jacks. Keep going. One, two, three, four, and out and out. How can I go, go, go? I think I know how low I could go low. Finishing in three, two, one. Amazing work. Let's get standing up for the next one. We're going to incorporate some swan arms with some different weight distributions to one foot and the other foot. So take a tendu front plie and forth and lift up. Using your swan arms, we're just tilting to one side and the other. Keep your core engaged, keep your pelvis neutral, don't stick out your tush, and lift your arms and your gaze. You should feel like a ballerina here or like you're on stage for Swan Lake. Don't forget to switch sides. Finishing in three, two, one, relax. Grab a sip of water. The next one's going to be a little bit of cardio for us. We're going to be running in place, but we're going to be switching from one foot to the other foot, turned out through first position. So point one foot behind, switch to the other foot in a run. If you'd like to take a regular jog, please feel free to do so. Either keeping your hands on your hips or use those swan arms once again. To make you cry. How can I go? Finishing in four, three, two, one. Amazing. This workout really is Swan Lake in seven or eight minutes. For the next one, we're going to be doing those weight changes, but in second position. So point your toes to one side, reach over to the opposite side, and keep going through a big second position plie. Plie, point the toes, plie, point the toes, add the arms in to feel an extra side oblique workout here. Finishing in three, two, one. Amazing. We are done that workout for today. Feel free to join me in a stretch now or feel free to join me in another workout. I'll put a playlist in the description up above as well as down below. So why don't we fold forward, take our hands in between our feet, send your hips to one side and then the other side. Now take your foot out to the side, point your other toe, stretch your knee in a nice deep lunge. Let's spider crawl to one side. Flip your hips to face forward in a lunge. Put your knee down on your mat. Reach up and around you to try to grab your opposite foot with your opposite hand for an extra quad stretch. Option here to also just stay in a regular lunge. Let's switch sides. Flip your hips back. Spider crawl to one side. Flip your hips to the front lunge and send your hand up and around to grab your opposite foot for a quadricep stretch. and release everything. Thank you again so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Let me know in the comments down below what you wanna see next. Have a great rest of your day, stay safe, and bye now.